Tepe Sacruz is 24 years of age, 23 wins, 16 coming by knockout. Ramirez is 29 years old. Oh, now he's 30 years old, excuse me. Turned pro at the age of 17. He is the taller man, slightly. He's got a real reach advantage, though. That, that could be meaningful. 70 inches to 63. Cruz, though, will get inside and pound away. This is our co-feature. Main event is next. Let's go back to the ring in the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans, from the Crypto.com Arena here in Los Angeles, California, Premier Boxing Champions continues the action with our co-main event of the evening brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with Samson Boxing and sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. New customers can bet $1 and win $100 instantly. Download the app, use the code GLOVES, and get in on tonight's action. Well, fans, this bout is sanctioned by the WBC with the president, Mauricio Suleiman. Judging at ringside, Ray Donseco, Esther Lopez, and Raymond Perez. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing and a WBC lightweight world title eliminator. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with silver trim, hailing from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at 134 and one half pounds. With a record of 27 wins, two losses and three draws, he has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the all-action world rank contender, introducing Eduardo Surdito. opponent across the ring he's ready to go in the blue corner tonight wearing black trunks blue trim hailing from mexico city la ciudad de mexico he weighed in at the lightweight limit of 135 pounds with a record of 23 wins two losses and one draw he has 16 wins coming by way of knockout Ladies and gentlemen, here is the popular and exciting world rank lightweight contender introducing Isak Pitbull Cruz. Got a referee in charge now to give instructions, Jack Reese. Right here, oh, over the boca. Okay. Aquí, por favor. Mira me. Okay. Está bien, está bien. Abajo aquí no buena. Está okay. bien aquí, está bien. Ok, préstame atención, protégete en todo tiempo. Play duro, play limpio, limpio, limpio. Está bien? Ok, okay. buena suerte. You know, Joe, I'd like that to be in my intro. The popular and exciting. <laughs> well, I've written you letters where right, I said no. you're popular. And you're no, listen, I, I, I appreciate hey, that. There's... Uh, yeah, he is popular, and he, I mean, by the, the you know, virtue he, of the crowd, they go nuts over him. He's a he's a fast starter. Look again, he, he bum rushed Diego Magdaleno at the end of 2020, and he knocked down Yuri Orcas Gamboa at the end of round two in his fight. So he might just come out firing in this fight. We're underway, round number one. Listen, I don't think uh, Isaac Cruz has any other way to come out but you know firing. You know that's just in his blood, that's in his style. And I, I think his size dictates it. Well, what we were talking about earlier, the, the tight package. You can see Cruz yeah. presents a very tight package as he comes forward. And, and we know he knows how to fight a southpaw. You know, he did very well against Tank Davis. He went the distance with Tank. Had, you know, his share of uh, rounds that he won. And, uh, you know, he's he's in there with the tough guys. Rodito uh, Ramirez is, is a good puncher. He's got a right hook that's just devastating. But, you know, Isaac Cruz keeps his hands up real nice, and he's going to have to work real hard, Ramirez, to land that big hook of his. Cruz is a dangerous man as he moves forward in a menacing fashion. Ramirez, though, to your point, Joe, has fought a high level of competition. He lost a featherweight title shot to Lee Selby in 2017, but he had an impressive knockout in a rematch with Ledouan Bartolome that we called. Yes. Where he was just, he was a stronger man and kind of learned his lesson from the first fight where it was a draw. Stop! 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 
Yeah, he took care of business, and now he came back and he said, well, I'm not going to leave it in the judge's hand. Right. And he, he went after Bartholomew. You know who else he knocked out? Miguel Flores. So, yes. The guy we just saw fought Abnamaras to a draw. Wasn't it on the, uh, in Texas, uh, we called the fight there, right? Uh, was it Spence uh, Garcia? I think so. It might have been. But he definitely, we were there when he knocked out. Uh, so if you're going to push me out fast. Yeah, he hit him with that great hook. I mean, it was a one-punch oh. knockout. As a win over Isak Avalar as well. And that was at 126. Again, he's moving up here now, fighting at 135 pounds. And you can see Cruz is just moving forward. Your thoughts, Lennox, on Cruz and what you've seen? Yeah, I mean, he's doing the right thing. He's applying a lot of pressure, especially with the feet, and trying to get his opponent stop. against the stop. ring so stop. he can, I mean, against the rope so he can, stop. you know, launch his attack. It's a good word for it. launch. Yes. He looks like he's ready to explode. Hands in tight. Shoulders in a crouch, just ready to unload. Not much as of yet. Ramirez tries to touch him there with a light jab, taps him with the left hand. Moving side to side, trying to give him a moving target. That's wise. Ramirez uh, actually is doing some, a good job getting away from those punches because stop, stop as he goes up against the ropes, he has to go Don't one way this. or the other, Relax. and he has to pick away, and each way he's going to go, he's going to run into a shot. You're right, that's a very uh, dangerous moment. Yes. He reaches that point. Feeling out round here in round number one. Ramirez able to stay out of danger. Cruz able to outland Ramirez by a, a slight hey. difference, at the very least. Heidi Andrel was uh, at the weigh-in yesterday and saw these two together. There seemed to be a bit of tension, Heidi. Uh, that's to say it lightly, Brian. Uh, he, you know, Isak Cruz, he comes from a long line of fighters. His father, Isak Cruz Sr., fought for Vernon Forrest back in the day. His grandfather was a boxer. His brother, Diego, a welterweight with a record of 29-9. He gets that discipline and focus from his family, he said. And you can see it there. He doesn't break eye contact. He has to be moved physically before he actually removes his eyes from his opponent. His team told me, you know what, he's not intimidated. He might be five foot four, but he's not intimidated easily. And we saw that with him going the distance against Tank Davis last year. Guys. Heidi, thank you. You know, it's funny, Joe, uh, talking to our, our researcher, producer extraordinaire, Mark Ortega. And Mark said, these guys had bad blood at the weigh-in. I said, I'll stop with that nonsense. I hate that. And he goes, no, no, no. These are the type of guys that mean it. Yeah. I said, OK, <laughs> point taken. And as you can see, right, these are serious fellas. Yeah. They're, not, they're not doing it to go viral. They're doing it because they mean it. No, absolutely. They're the type of guys that are consummate pros. I mean, they really are. And they take their, this game very serious. And look, I mean, if you don't have a little disgust and anger against your I mean you, yeah. you got it's a good thing to have you know Cruz is also 24 you know we're kind of talking about all these young fighters yeah. Cruz has been through some wars and again he's fought high level fighters Javante Davis Yuri Gamboa albeit Gamboa is an older fighter at this point but he's still a, a, a young guy who's developing yeah he is and he finally got to uh, Ramirez's body a little bit on the ropes and that's he's going to close the gap eventually because there's only so much moving you can do by Ramirez uh, that's not in his nature either. Ramirez will come after you like he did Bartholomew. And I, I expect this fight to settle into a little bit of a brawl pretty soon. That would be to Cruz's benefit. You would expect that. Smacks him there with a left hook. Again, his, uh, his knockout of Magdaleno, who's once a very good fighter, an outstanding world-class fighter. Knocked him out in one minute. He just assaulted him in the early going. Yeah, Magdalena was an excellent fighter. Right. And so if Ramirez, you could see Ramirez with a slight build, Lennox, yes. you wouldn't want him to stay on the ropes no. against Cruz. No, and uh, he's aware of it. I mean, he's he's moving pretty quick with his feet, stepping out of the way, jumping out of the way sometimes. <laughs> Discretion is the better part of valor, oftentimes. Cruz moving forward, not landing an awful lot of shots. Oh, oh that but was there great. it is! One shot, and can Ramirez survive? Four, five, six, seven. Oh, he closed Ocho. the gap, all right. Mira me. Está bien. Come on. Oh, Come he's on. No, messed no, no, up. No, no. Come to me. Come to me. Dame los guantes. Stop, stop. You need to protect yourself. Put the mouthpiece in. I like uh, Jack Reese. Jack uh, Reese uh, has a history yeah. of letting fighters go and let him fight out, but he's warning Ramirez and wanted to take a good close look. Oh, that's a brutal body shot by Cruz. Isaac Cruz just let it go. Ramirez on the ropes. Can't get hit with 
one of those right hands. Now he buckles him, doubles him up with a body shot. Jack Reese warning Ramirez, saying, you've got to fight, you've got to punch. No, oh, brutal hook and a right hand, and it's over. Pitbull crushes another opponent. Let me tell you, when he was circling, he dropped his hands and he got hit with that left hook. And I told you, when you're moving one way, you got to watch out. Well, again. Cruz is a serious puncher. Yeah. He's, he's looking to hurt you with everything he throws. He's got this, he's got this arena rocking right now. A lot of people are here for the Ruiz-Ortiz fight, but I got to tell you, a lot are here to see Isaac Cruz do exactly what he did tonight, and that was, he's a devastating fighter. That was a savage attack. And, and look, like I said, he was missing at first, but you knew he was gonna close the gap eventually. When he does, when he gets to you, he puts everything behind his punches. Yeah, everything. A guy that throws punches like that, you gotta keep your hands up. If you're moving right, you gotta keep your right hand up. If you're moving left, you gotta keep your left hand up. If it's a little down, yeah. Which it was, but he got caught. Look, Ramirez has not stopped smiling sitting here in the corner. They finally got him up. He's been smiling like he's really, he's actually PO'd at himself right now for getting clipped like that. Right. You know? He, what, I tell you, once there's blood in the water, though, it's over. Oh, with Isaac Cruz, There's, no, there's nothing it. he could have done. No. I mean, because he also, he went body, head, he showed an array of punches as well. Yeah, you think that was Killer Instinct or what? Yeah, yeah, that, that stare down at the uh, weigh-in was no joke. Yeah, that was serious. That was the real deal. Like I said, he had disgust and disdain for his opponent, and you gotta have that, he'll have love for him afterwards, though. No question, family of fighters, and Isak Cruz electrifying this crowd. And in the crowd, I tell you, it's a star-studded crowd here in Los Angeles. Yes. And they are here. And there's Chris Ariola, yeah, your fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks great right now, Chris. He does. And uh, I went over and said hi to him. He texted me that he was in the arena, and I was what? And I went over and saw. Even, him. even Chris Ariola is horrified by the violence. Exactly. <laughs> that that tell you something. <laughs> and Chris wow. Ariola's middle name is has a bead uh, uh, in front of it. Let me tell you, uh, that was. That was devastating. That's a tremendous performance. It's good to see Ramirez is okay. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Ramirez's game, but his body type was just not going to allow him to well, stay into this Here's fight. where he, he, he just backs up with his left hand, his right hand down, and, you know, uh, Isaac Cruz is closing the gap. You know the last place you want to do is sit on the ropes, Lennox. Yeah, exactly. He was against the ropes, nowhere to move. Uh -huh. He was basically nowhere to go. Here it is. There's the jab. He leads it back bringing it low and gets hit with the hook. I mean, that's basic boxing 101. You don't let your jab fall to your waist and bring it back up. You put it out, you got to bring it right back or slip or do something. And try and, and try and be aware of the rings. Here's the end of the fight right here, Len. The ropes. That was it. Yeah, well, he, at this point, he's just running for his life. He's, he's not sure where he's at. Cruz is just hitting him at will. He's just trying to find the right accurate punch to hit him with. And it's going to come up pretty soon, and it's a left hook right hand, and there it is. And then another left hook right hand. So he hit him with four clean shots right there. Jack Reese, the great referee, uh, waved it off there, but gave gave Ramirez a chance. You know, his you look at his eyes as he's on the advance like a shark attack. Oh yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> not, not a pit bull. Yeah, yeah. It's worse. Yeah, it and pushes Cru him back. Cruz was smart, not allowing Ramirez to uh, hold him or anything. Well, he was already hurt at this point, so. You know, Cruz could have done whatever he wanted with him, uh, including hit him with those four left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand. He has so dramatic was, knockouts now, yeah. again, over Gamboa, Magdaleno. Yeah. You, you can see Ramirez was not, you know, stable on his feet right there. So he was a sitting duck. Jack Reese gave him a chance. You know, it was early in the fight, but uh, Cruz really knows how to close the show like he did with Gamboa. And, you know, to our point, it's kind of yeah. a, a theme tonight. I thought Jack Reese did exactly the right thing. Yeah. He even paused for a second. He's like, hold on, I'm not just going to let this go. You got to step toward me. Let me That's see right. you do it. Yeah. Javante Dave saying, wow, guy looked pretty good. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, hey, come on now. He's got a win over Cruz. No, no way. They, yeah, they, they definitely shouldn't do him. <laughs> Well uh, handled. He's taking it as a good spot. Yeah. You know, yeah. I gotta love that. That's you know, Cruz's it's, fans it's, doing that. Right. Well, it's of course it is. It yeah. isn't his fans. Yeah. Not, they, yeah. But look, I mean, he's having a good time with it. He knows he's in enemy territory right, right. now, and God love him. You know, I mean, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. 
let's get uh, let's get the official call here. We go to the ring, and here is Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 27 seconds in round number two. He is the winner by way of knockout, the winner of the WBC World Title Eliminator, Isark Pitbull Cruz. Boy, he brings the... I tell you, that's sending a shockwave through the lightweight division, as you think of either if it's Devin Haney, Lomachenko, yeah. Ryan Garcia. Heidi Andrel standing by. Go ahead, Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. Isa Cruz, congratulations on another victory. This crowd went wild. I know, I know that, oh, there they go. What do you want to say to these fans here tonight, Isa? Lo prometido es deuda. Creo que le viene a cumplir a la gente de, de Los Ángeles y por eso exigimos la revancha contra Germonta Davis. We want the rematch with Germonta Davis. Uh, these fans have been great and that's why um, you know they came out and I what, what I promised is a depth already and we did it tonight. Gervonta shakes his head. I wish we could bring him into the ring. <laughs> if, if he does not agree to this rematch. Is there, I know there's some other champions out there. Who would you like? Si, Gervonta Davis no quiere la revancha. ¿Qué otro campeón tú te quieres enfrentar? Debbie Haney dijo que ese es el campeón. Hagamos la pelea, soy el interino. Hagamos la pelea, Debbie Haney. Well, let's bring on David Haney. He's the interim champion. Let's bring him in. I'm the interim champion, so let's bring him in. You were locked in yesterday at the weigh-in, and you brought that savage entertainment that we love out of you, Pitbull Cruz. What was the game plan coming in, and did you know that this would go exactly as it happened? In the cara a cara, in the conference of the prince, I was like a savage. I was prepared to fight. What was the plan for this fight? I was going to win as I could, for my wife, for my son. Y bueno, aquí estamos. Y bueno, qué mejor hacerlo ante la toda la gente de Los Ángeles, California. I was ready to win it at all costs for my family, my wife, my kid, and what best to win it for here in front of all the LA fans that are with me. You know, it's your son's fifth birthday coming up this week, and you've got a new baby at home. You're going to go to Disneyland. Go enjoy it. Vaya Disney a gozar con tu hijo que cumple cinco años esta semana y el más chiquito también. Totalmente. Y les dimos un gran comienzo de las fiestas patrias y que viva México. Viva México, and we just gave him a real nice opening for the Fiesta Prata in Mexico.